to News at 5. Welcome back. I'm joined now by our health reporter, Rose Belts, and we're talking about a subject that's very interesting and popular. What happens when you don't get enough sleep? And Jane, that is a lot of us. So mm -hmm. according yeah. to the National Sleep Foundation, they say that more than half of Americans get less than the necessary seven hours of sleep each night. Okay, so we saw a story from USA Today, and it said a lack of sleep can kill you. Is that true? Well, I, I thought it was a little extreme myself, so yeah. I took a look at it because it said that if we didn't get enough sleep that we could actually die if our brain could not rest and get the energy it needed to filter out these harmful toxins. So I wanted to check this out. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to Hans von Dagen. He's the Director of Sleep and Performance at the Performance and Sleep Center at Washington State, Spokane. He says sleep scientists are very excited about this extraordinary research, but extraordinary findings require extraordinary mm -hmm. evidence. He's says we don't have enough evidence yet to show how much we can die from the lack of sleep. Okay, so what does he say about the lack of sleep? A lot of us don't have enough sleep right now. <laughs> right, okay, so he says one, which is really interesting, when we don't get enough sleep, our brain is actually really tricky. It's smart, it knows it's not getting sleep. So it actually takes naps throughout the day. Oh. So essentially, we are asleep and we don't even know it, which is, which is interesting. So two, and it happens in places that we don't even know when it's happening. So, and until it gets that it needs. So, for instance, which could be detrimental when you're driving through an intersection and you might be coming up to a pedestrian and you don't know to make that change. And now jumping to the third part, which is, which is very detrimental, is because the part of your brain that tells you is asleep is actually asleep. So it's Ooh. really a catch-22 oh, situation. Right, so you don't even know you're asleep and your brain, your brain can't tell you that. And also, what is interesting is that you can't register a change. Like when you walk up to a door that says push-pull, yeah. and you can't, you're like, it takes you a second to realize to push it because you you can't make that judgment. So it's it's pretty oh my interesting. Goodness. So we do know that for sure about sleep. Okay, so that's yeah. very important and also another reason that you shouldn't be driving when you're sleep deprived. I uh, mean, yeah. if you don't know that you <laughs> you're asleep, that's kind of a problem. So try and get those seven hours. Thanks, Rose. So you can much. read more about this on our website, creme.com. And if you'd like to hear more from Rose, she knows a lot of stuff, you can tweet her at creme2rose. We'll be right back. Thank you.